Hello everyone, welcome back to Go Power, I'm Ogu and this is another episode of Lost Judgment. And I think I will go and deliver the roses to Yama and afterwards I will go with the body model that walks at night, for which we will have to go back to the school, which is fine. <laughs> I do have to look up if, they, if I have to kill enemies uh, by certain styles to, to get something for it, because if not, I would love to just play oops, um, with snake style. I just like it the most, to be honest. Wouldn't even need the boxing style. It's a nice diversion, but I don't know what it is. I, I just like the style of it the most. Uh, what should I do? Uh, hand over the materials. Hello. So, got a button need. <laughs> Wonderful. These are the PR research up to speed. Here's the news to Chris. Yes, thanks. Thanks, I'll try making it ASAP. In time, we have the ancient codex all figured out. We might even discover a new recipe soon. Anyway, we'll be needing some garlic next. Can you bring that for me? Garlic? Is that it? Didn't I take some garlic already? Okay, good. It's fine. Uh, let's get on. Oh, not quit. <laughs> Chose the wrong one here. Okay, so that also means that now we have to go back to school. Uh, which is... Oh, no. So there is really no way to... Okay, I thought there might be some way to get there otherwise. But it seems like there isn't. The body more and... An unknown one. Oh right, people have been talking about the human body model that moves and even walks around at night. Probably bull, but I may as well check it out while I'm here. Not too busy right now. And also, it's at night, so... Let's check this out. I wonder what's at night in this school. I really do. Find the Roman body model. Okay, I think that's down here. Okay, no. Oh, there's the staircase. I too have to look. Nice. Nice. Uh, I too have to learn the layout of this. Not always entirely sure on where to go. Is on the first floor. Oh, I thought I had to go down. Because if it is on the first floor, then um, it might be just here. Huh? Got it. Okay, this <laughs> is creepy. I guess it's someone with, with some kind of... Um... Yeah.
Yeah, better like... Still better take a look. Maybe it's some kind of prank? Mm -hmm. Thing being dressed up like a body model? I guess it's more... I can hear something nearby. Uh, would be more fitting. Uh, usually you don't have like magic in this kind of games. Maybe no SM can pinpoint where they are. <clears throat> okay. Kokodana. That's not it. What's he doing here? What the? Holy sh Yeah, it's real. Okay, you're not getting away. Oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> How awesome is that you can even attack them with, with stuff? Oops. Oh, thank God, because I didn't see where he was going to. Oh, it's the same as before. Music is just so awesome. So look, this kid's just painted himself. At least he's got pants on. Hey, are you students here? Nah. What are you doing, man? Just some kind of prank? Ugh, crap. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a bit of a problem. Hmm. Ah, craving test answers. Gotta say, you could have the most complicated subject of cheating I've ever seen. I know, I'm Teru Naito, the second year here. Teruo Naito, sorry. I've been falling behind this year, but the point that my teacher told me if I flunk another test, I'm gonna get held back. I don't care how stupid I look doing it, I just needed a passing grade, I'm sorry. Uh. I mean, good for you not... Good for you for not caring about appearances, but I mentioned it with the amount of time it took you to get done up like that. You could have just um, studied, you know? Uh, I don't even have a good answer to that. But I mean, isn't it very fast to, to just look at the answers other people write on instead of trying to memorize them all? <sighs> yeah, that's not gonna fly with me. What's a great even mean in the end if you cheated for it? Well, if you needed to get a good job, a lot. 
I mean, I, I know where he's going to this up, but still, it's... Uh, you know, this kind of thing is grounds for suspension expulsion, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't say cheat. No, cheating is always bad. But I can see why people cheat if... Um, if the system is as strict as it is, for example, in Japan, where we further grade, you don't get in I live in Austria, and Austria is, is quite similar. It, very often it doesn't matter as much, it does matter too, but it doesn't matter as much how good you are. It's more important that you have the uh, gratification for it. And then it's all about your experience. And so this kind of stuff, oh, can be a, a game changer. I mean, seriously, a body model just, why that specifically? Oh, well, if I got caught cheating, everyone would know, right? But if Mr. Gutsy came to life in class one day, running out of the room, we threw the freak up and couldn't keep him away instead of chasing after me. I also made some fake guts to throw at potential pursuers to slow him down. You know, like cult drops, but you already saw that. Decent exit strategy, right? Old plan, but I suppose he's got a point. In all the chatter posts I saw about the model, nobody ever suspected it was a real student. Kinda surprised just to shoot kids failing so badly. Although I still got caught in the end, so I guess I still could have had a better plan. We ever end up finding the answer sheet? No. Last time I tried the faculty room, but it was locked, so tonight I started on the classrooms. All that effort dressing up, standing still, rooting around the desk drawers, and I came up with Jack Squad. A spooky story around school just boils down to the sad clone of a failure at the end. Maybe I could get a job in some kind of scientific circus. Think those are actually real? <laughs> nah. Gotta say, you don't seem you don't seem very regretful about this. No no I am. I really messed up. I know that. So for putting you through all this trouble, Yagami san. I didn't mean to scare you. Yeah. No, you didn't scare me. Oh. Alright. So what's next? I know I've made a commotion during this, so first I'm going to bowl just to my teacher. If he's willing to let this slide then I guess I'll study my hardest and see how well I do on the test. I see. Well, if you plan on owning up to what you did and studying for your test, I guess there's not much left for me to say. Just leave the body painting to the art club, alright? No more posting up in classroom like that. Yes, of course. Okay, we'd better get home and crack those box. Books. Exams are right around the corner, aren't they? Yes, thank you. Again, I'm really sorry. See you later. It was a bit too easy. To be honest. But okay. Good grief. Well, things should simmer down around you now. At least a bit. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's going home stressed like that? Ah, zombie! Ah. <laughs> Here is the guts his kid at Sado. Wonder how his teacher's going to take the news, though. I should talk to him next time I see him around school. If I see him around school. Well, I guess I will try to just... Man, where it's buried? We can just dig around hope we find it. Maybe it was the quarter over by the bricks. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Uh, oh man, I'm going back to Osaka tomorrow. If we lose today, I don't know when we're ever gonna dig up the time capsule. <sighs> yeah, we gotta do it today. Look, this guy's crazy stuff to school or something. I said something about the time capsule. Too bad it sounds like they forgot where the damn thing's buried. Now what to do? Do we help them out? Okay. This is my chance to show how great the game is going to into Kohama I know. Excuse me, you guys have any problem finding something? Yeah. Who are you? Yagami this. I'm Takuki Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. A detective? Hi. Yes. Normally I work around Kumurucho, but recently I've been helping out Yokohama 99, which is my friend's agency. Currently, I'm an advisor to the Mystery Research Club at the school. Oh, so you're with the school? Yeah. Yes, and I think I can help you. If you'd like, you could tell me what's causing you so much trouble. I'll need a fee since you'll be availing yourself 
of my office's services, but it would just be a nominal courtesy fee. Mm. A professional detective, huh? Well, we do need someone who's good at finding lost things. Wanna have him mm. do it? Yeah, I'm good with that. You're hired, Yagami-san. My name's Okikubo. I'm Hana Misuki. Sorry guys, Japanese names are still a bit hard for me sometimes. And I'm Yagamo. All three of us are graduates of the school and we met up today for the first time in a long while. We are all here to dig up the time capsule we buried here many years ago. But all our memories are a bit hazy. We can't remember where we buried it. Do we at least remember anything that could be a clue? Ah, uh, well... There's another reason it's hazy. Ah. Hell yeah, there is. We drank a ton the day we celebrated our graduation. Work hard, play hard? <sighs> yep, we were acting pretty damn young and reckless. You were really wasted. They were drinking? They were obviously underage at the time. I uh, thought so. Two. Okay, well, is there anything you remember? Like a marker or something? Well, we do have some notes from back then. The giant's wheel. Roaring over the tree with the most branches. Three steps south from the roots. Two more steps east. And there are treasure chests. Mm -hmm. Is this some kind of code? Huh. Yes. It's based on a code from a game that was popular at the time. Okay. Naruhodo. I see. So what sort of meaning does it have? Well, we don't have a clue now. I remember in the game there was this giant statue with a wheel. But there's nothing like that at the school, is there? Mm. So maybe you chose something here as the wheel. At the very least, I'll try to use this code message to start up the investigation. Put a board that shovel. Hana Mizuki san. Hi. Yeah, sure, here you go. Now, what meaning could this code message possibly have? I guess you can lord over something by glaring at it. Okay. Something that's similar to a chance wheel is glaring at the tree with the most branches. I guess I'll search for anything that might fit that. So, just wanted to write that one down. Can I... Oh, wait. There's really a lot of stuff just lying around. Can I... Ah, damn it. Can't use my skateboard. Skateboard at school? That's some Tony Hawk wipes. Perform twig. So. The most branches must be this tree. It fits the description. Well, if oh wait, the, the... oh, that's it. Ferris wheel? Maybe that's a giant's wheel? If so, the giant's wheel that loads over might be referring to a tree around here. Tick tick. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand the coded message. The giant's wheel that loads over the tree with most branches. So that'd be this tree? Okay, starting from 
In front of the tree, three steps to the south, then two steps to the east. That's where the temple should be. Mm -hmm. huh? A shovel. Did someone already get the time capsule? Here, after all, maybe I'm on a little off. I should try taking a spot nearby. Huh? We found something. Ooh. Oh, hey! Looks like I was right. I should let these guys know. But I'm a little curious. That shovel. Did someone use it pretty recently? I wonder if that means someone else was already digging around there. I would ask them that too. I could bet that now something that should be there is mi missing. Some pebble. Backward. Twig. Twig. So, hello you guys. I found the time <laughs> What? That's amazing, Mr. Detective. That giant wheel turned out to be the Ferris wheel you could see from the backyard. Oh, the Ferris wheel. Now that I think about it, we did get all giddy calling that thing the giant's wheel. Wait, but this... Isn't this different? I think it's the same color, but this thing doesn't have a keyhole. See? Eh? You're right, it doesn't. What are you guys talking about? Our time capsule was lockable, and it had a keyhole. Because we didn't want it to be opened up, obviously. This thing doesn't have a keyhole. But this wasn't the location that the code led me to. That's weird. Why would that be? Mm. Well, the only thing that I can think of is... It was stolen. Not mistakenly. That there's a possibility it was stolen. Yeah. No, I doubt that. There were no valuables in the... It that would have been worth stealing. Plus, it'd be pretty crazy for Thief to be digging around and find the time capsule by sheer luck. And if there was some guy just wandering around and digging up the ground, that would have been noticed. Yeah, I see what you mean. Even if it's possible. But how can you mistakenly take a time capsule if one has a keyhole and the other one doesn't? There was disruptive next to where this capsule was buried. I thought that this was not by accident. I thought this was because someone wanted to exchange them. So it looked like someone had been digging them. Huh? What are you saying? It's possible that the time capsule was taken by mistake. Tsumari. Meaning another person who buried their capsule nearby mistakenly took yours. Mistakenly? Okay, let's roll with it. Hi. What, that's what you think? Yes. Based on what I saw at the scene, that's my hypothesis. The other person took up your capsule, which does have a keyhole, but it's been so long this person didn't remember his capsule didn't have one. I'm sure if you ever got to look inside, you would realize it wasn't his, but obviously you can't open it since it's not. <sighs> Seriously? That actually does sound possible. The other thing does sound so too. Oh, no, someone would have seen if it was digged up. Well, yes, and this would have... The actual does sound puzzle time were really popular back then. Whatever the case, it certainly seems like a time capsule was taken by a third party. But the only way to get it back is to figure out who took it. Hey, if you take a look inside this time capsule with you, wouldn't we get an idea of who was your, has yours? I was, well, you know what was meant. I hope it doesn't matter. Or she could be a girl as well. I track a fleet number, a stuffed bear, and there's a calm. So maybe it's not a guy after all, it's a girl. Anything that might narrow it down further than that? Hey, look at this. It's a letter. There's a name on it. Um... Eh? Saya Goto? This is Goto-san's. Whoa, no way. Mm hmm? You know her? Hi. Yes, she was one of our classmates. We all adored her. <laughs> oh, Gikubo, didn't you have a crush on Goto-san? Well, yeah. 
You wanted to confess to her on the day of graduation and you ended up chickening out and not doing it, remember? Uh, I wanna see what it says. Let me see. Hey, don't just read someone else's letter. Yeah, not a good idea. Oh, shut it. That wasn't very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? Hold on, no way. Seriously? What? What's in this letter? It's not great to invade your privacy by reading a letter, but... No, I'm curious. Hold on, is this truly necessary to the investigation? Uh, no, it's not. But we are curious. No way, why is this kind of letter inside Gutterson's capsule? Okay, I guess this is necessary to complete the job. Here we go. Hello. Um, what's written there exactly? Well, you see... It's a love letter to the person she liked at the time. Huh? What? Really? What's it say? I wanted to confess to you on the day of graduation, but now I regret I wasn't able to do that. Instead, I'll hide my feelings inside this time capsule. I hope that the time I open this again, my love will be fulfilled. Wow, so there was someone she really, really liked. Who was it? Did she give a name? Okay, you might want to sit down for this. The name she gives is Yuto Okikubo. It was you. What? Eh? Seriously? Hold up. You're joking, right? Let me see. I would want to see the two, yeah. Uh, it, it's true. Eh. Wow, that's an interesting coincidence, huh? Didn't you also want to confess on graduation day but didn't Okikugo Bozan? Yes, but I never thought Gotosan could possibly feel the same way. Hey, Okikubo, I just remembered. Didn't you put a love letter in our time capsule too? You never managed to give it to her. Hmm? Wait, so that means... Both of you buried your secret feelings inside of time capsules. And then not only did you bury them near each other, but the first person to come back and dig one up took the wrong one. Only one way to describe this. No, don't say it. This is just a crazy coincidence. Maybe it's yeah. a bit more. We gotta say it. We gotta say it. This is destiny. Come on, Okikubo. It can't just be coincidence. But really, destiny? Uh, anyway, what we need to do is check capsules with Goto Sam. But how do you find her? That's a problem. Do you have any idea where she lives? I don't know her current address. But if I recall at the time, I heard she lived around Chinatown in Ichinjo. Oh. oh yeah, I think she was the daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner. The daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner in Chinatown. That could be a lot of people, but at least it's a clue. Yeah, it is. Um, how about contacting Old Glassman, seeing if we can get connected that mm. way? I don't know anyone else's contact besides these guys. I lost touch. Ah, okay. That's... That's normal. That's just how life goes. Same for me. What about you, Google? Yeah. Same. The only people I kept in touch with were you guys. I see. Well then, yearbook. Would you happen to have a yearbook? Some of these old yukas have <sighs> this address. Oh, I lost mine. Me too. When I moved. I still have mine, but it's at the boarding house in Osaka. No time to get it. And it's Osaka, sorry. You can contact the school office and see if they have the yearbook from there. Yeah. No, that won't work. I've asked them that question before, because at one point I wanted to look at it. They don't keep the yearbooks. I see. Then, I guess it would be hard to find a lead from a yearbook. In that case... What is, does she look like? Let us know what she looks like. It would help if you had a photo. If I couple a photo with the knowledge that she lives near Chinatown, that would be probably enough to find her. Did we ever have a picture of her? Definitely don't have one now. Never got a chance to snap go to sun, did you? But if a picture did exist, it would be in the graduation album. Mm. I see. I don't have a picture. But I... I could draw a portrait. Of how she looked back then, at least. Oh! Oh, that's right. You're an art teacher, aren't you? Yeah, that could be helpful. Could you go ahead and draw that for me? No problem. Just casually draws her. Okay, I'm done. I'm pretty sure this is how she looked. Oh, it totally is. Yeah, I remember. Yep, yep. Let's go to some. She always had that sort of gentle look. Yeah. You really captured how refined she was. 
All right, so maybe if I look for someone who looks like this but 10 years older, I can find <laughs> And hey, if you find sir, it's time to confess. Okay, go. Yeah? yeah, definitely is. What? Confess? That's right, man. You can't let this chance slip away. Yeah. This is destiny, your life. You change forever. But Pakotasa might be married by now, right? You're all 28 years old. Those guys are younger than me. Yeah. No. I don't think that's the case. I've heard through the grapevine that she's not married and very interested in finding someone. Really? But still, oh cool. Enough, enough. Enough's enough. You gotta make it good. You've been carrying around your feelings for Goto san for 10 years. You talk about her during all the rare times we meet up. That's right, okay, cool. Bro. You need to get closer for that time in your life and move on, whatever that might be. Yeah, you're right. You guys might, just might be right. Good. Sounds like you're finally ready to get it done. Okay. Well, I got me some my fate is in your hands. Time to head to Chinatown. But I think that's something we'll do in the next episode of Ogopa. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching and I hope I'll see you again in the next episode. Bye-bye.